I get his. We should glorify in the cause of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, life, and resurrection. Through him we are saved and delivered. During this mass, we've been asked to remember in a special way the living and deceased members of St. Coleman Parish. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with Just your spirit. spirit. This evening we gather on this wonderful feast of Holy Thursday and the Mass of the Lord's Supper when, when Jesus gave us his body and blood to be the sacrament of the, of the Eucharist. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God's Father. Trusted to the church a sacrifice due for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole land, you shall join the nearest household in procuring one, and shall share in the land in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old man and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month. And then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, you shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the land. That said night they shall eat its roasted flesh, it 
and living bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it. With your loins curled, sandals on your feet and your stuff in hand, you shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this said night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, both but the blood will burn the houses where you are seeing the blood. I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generation shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. A blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my pearls. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my 
my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has pain has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, and put his garments back on, and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you also should do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. There is a tradition that when prisoners are condemned to death, they are granted a final request of whatever meal they would like to have, to choose their favorite meal as the final meal that they will have prior to their execution. Tomorrow, Good Friday, will commemorate the fact that Jesus was executed as a prisoner. He was given capital, the sentence of, of, of death for, uh, for crimes that he never even committed. So tonight, on this Holy Thursday evening, we celebrate his last meal. And like condemned prisoners, he has chosen his favorite meal for his last meal here on earth. When he gathers with his disciples on that Holy Thursday, that first Holy Thursday, he celebrated the Passover meal. That would have been his favorite meal because the Passover meal commemorated one of the greatest events in the history of the Israelite people. We heard the first reading this evening from the book of Exodus recount just a part of that story. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt. They were being badly treated and, and, and tortured by their Egyptian persecutors. And finally, the Lord came to their rescue. He raises up Moses, and Moses is his instrument to liberate the people from slavery in Egypt. Moses goes to the people, speaking on God's behalf, and tells the Israelite people to sprinkle the blood of a lamb on the doorposts of their dwellings, and that the Lord would pass over those, those dwellings that had the blood of the lamb and protect the people that were in them. And sure enough, on this particular evening, the angel of death passes over the entire nation of Egypt, and we learn from the scriptures that the oldest, the firstborn of every Egyptian family dies that evening. But the Israelite people are protected by the blood of the Lamb that was sprinkled on their doorposts. The Pharaoh is so upset by the whole event that he chases the people out of, out of Egypt. And the Israelites leave and they begin their journey that will ultimately end up in the Promised Land. There's a saying in dieting that we are what we eat. Jesus is what he ate at that Passover dinner, at his last supper. He is the lamb whose blood will be shed to save humanity from sin and death. In that first Passover, the people are liberated from slavery. They are freed from slavery of an oppressive country and they are led out to a promised land. This new Passover land, who is Jesus, leads us out of the slavery to sin and death, and guides us on a journey through life to the ultimate promised land, the land of heaven, the land of eternal life with God. What he leaves us at that last supper is the sacrament of the Eucharist, and it's that Eucharist that connects us with his salvific death on the cross. The blood that was sprinkled on the doorpost of the Israelite people, it's now Jesus' blood that is sprinkled from the wood of the cross. And every time we receive the Eucharist, we're united with that salvific death on the cross, that saving action of Jesus on the cross. So this Holy Thursday evening, and we gather and say, 
Thank you, Jesus, so much for loving us and dying on the cross for us. Thank you for the gift of the Eucharist, and may this bread of life be nourishment for our journey ultimately into eternal life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed is God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine of all and the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God of
Pray that my sacrifice and yours will be found acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, He is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer Himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as His memorial. As we eat His flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. As we drink the blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so are the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy day our Lord and Savior, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, Profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we do offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We giving thanks to your fellow worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. And bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis of Occo and Nelson of Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen passively upon the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Good blessed Joseph, her spouse, good blessed apostles, and all the saints who have lived you through all the ages. We may manage to be coerced to the life and may great glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only to say the word, my soul shall be given. This is the body that will be given up for you. This is the chalice of the new covenant in my blood, says the Lord. Do this whenever you receive it in memory of me. It's unfortunate that on this Holy Thursday, this great feast day, that we can't join together as a parish family. But I do want to assure you that all of you are in uh, the priest's uh, thoughts and prayers. And we, we, we hope for a, a speedy remedy to this virus as possible so that we can join together as a parish family at the Mass. Let us stand in prayer. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God will be a come to pray. May thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking.